I suppose you could say it was the final straw because my dad sent me a picture of uh, what appears to be a, a rotten banana. After several weeks of taking photos, one Vancouver woman says enough is enough. Leah Eliason says her father, William, a quadriplegic living at Vancouver's George Pearson Center, has been sending her pictures of the meals residents are served, meals she says are unacceptable. Nobody's expecting it's not a five-star restaurant, okay? Uh, but when food is clearly rotten, that, that somebody had to have placed that and, and presented that to somebody as an edible uh, source of nourishment. Meanwhile, William, her father, is still quite young. At 68, he's been in a few care facilities following a bypass surgery gone wrong, leaving him quadriplegic. She describes him as an avid family man who served his community for 23 years with the RCMP at YVR. Lee acknowledges hospital food has never been known for its tastiness, but says her father isn't at a hospital. This is where they live, and these are people that don't have the same abilities as you or me. She also clarifies the nurses and care aides do what she describes as amazing work, but she worries the pandemic is likely causing working conditions to deteriorate, while at the same time making it impossible for the family to compensate for cracks in the system. We were able to visit him. We could take him out for the day. We could bring him food that was actually food. My concern is that there is nobody actually at the helm of this. The Ministry of Health did get back to our query with a written statement saying the government is investing over a billion dollars in the next three years to improve care for seniors and that residents concerned about quality of care or nutrition can talk to the long-term care home leadership and also the health authority in their jurisdiction. A process Lee says she's been through. What ends up happening is we just get referred up, up the chain. So we're told, okay, address your concerns to this person, this person, and it just goes up the chain. And... At the end of the day, you end up going back to the beginning. Vancouver Coastal Health also responding to us, saying the Community Care and Assisted Living Act guarantees a certain number of meals and snacks daily to meet personal nutrition needs. Adding residents at GPC usually have the ability to make meal selections. This practice was paused because of COVID-19, but will restart later this month. The food service team at George Pearson Center is committed to working with the resident on addressing his concerns. I can't even fathom what it must be like to have your choices made for you down to what you're going to eat in a day and then be served with something like that. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.